Well, uh, my name is Esteban, and today I will be talking about uh, hacking and protecting Oracle databases, database vault. This is the outline of uh, this presentation. First, uh, we are going to see an introduction to Oracle database vault. Uh, this is a uh, quite a new topic for this kind of conferences, so I will be doing a, an introduction of what is uh, Oracle Database Vault, uh, what changes it introduces, and what are its elements. Then we're going to move to the most important part of this presentation, that are the attacks against Oracle Database Vault. Uh, we're going to see attacks that will uh, look for operating system access in order to be able to compromise uh, Oracle Database Vault and the Oracle Database. Uh, we are going to see uh, how to impersonate the Maxis user that is the most important user in Oracle Database Vault, is the Database Vault owner user. Then we are going to see uh, some special considerations for the sys user and how we can compromise Oracle Database Vault uh, using SQL injection vulnerabilities in the sys schema. After that, we are going to see uh, some issues with uh, native database auditing uh, with the sys user. Finally, we are going to see some additional protections and some conclusions. Well, what, what is uh, Oracle Database Vault? It's important to know that it's an add-on to Oracle Database. Uh, it's not installed by default. It's installed uh, mainly to add uh, security features that uh, doesn't have the database and that are required, for example, for strict regulations such as Servants Oxley or PCI that uh, calls for a separation of duty, a strict separation of duty inside the database. So Oracle Database Vault will allow for a separation in a activities such as account management, database resource management, and data security. It's, uh, this this add-on product uh, protects uh, against attacks that can be done by highly privileged users, such as database administration administrators. So uh, now the DBA doesn't have the unlimited access to database data. After we install this uh, add-on product, uh, there are some changes in the configuration of uh, the database instance. The, mo uh, the, the first thing that uh, you can notice is that uh, initialization parameters are changed to more secure values. This is uh, documented in the Oracle Database Vault documentation. The recycle bin feature is disabled some uh, privileges are uh, removed from default Oracle roles like DBA role uh, because some of these uh, privileges could lead to the compromise of database vault uh, security features. Also, the database uh, native audit is configured to include more uh, actions, but actually the, the auditing is not enabled. Also, there are, there are some uh, architectural changes, like the dollar table is moved to the system schema and instead of the sys schema. Well, but all these uh, changes are not, uh, that doesn't uh, add any security feature. It, it, sh it can be done just by any database administrator to any database instant. What uh, are important changes are some protections that are uh, added. For example, uh, there are some schemas that are protected uh, by default with uh, Realm. We are going to see uh, later what is uh, Realm. So the sys and system schema are protected. 
as well as some uh, sensitive commands like the commands that uh, can uh, that uh, that are related to account management for example create user alter user etc so all these changes are incompatible with the some operations of the database like installing patches so it is uh, required to disable database vault when we uh, want to install patches oracle documentations state uh, how how to disable Oracle Database Vault in order to install the patches. And that is uh, what is found in the documentation for Windows. We can rename a DLL file. And on Linux and Unix systems, we, can ex we should execute a couple of commands to disable Database Vault. There are some other changes that all the releases uh, that were in place in all the releases, like the operating system authentication to the database uh, disabled, and that uh, login with sysdba privileges were blocked. This, of course, uh, had a lot of problems and incompatibilities with uh, some of the tools, like uh, Arman and some other Oracle command line utilities. But there is a parameter in Oracle PWD tool to enable the CDBA DBA access as well as overwrite the uh, sys password. So as you can see, if we have operating system access as the Oracle user, we uh, are able to First, uh, we are able to disable database vault, and also we, we can uh, override and enable the sysdba access. Well, n now let's see what are the elements that are provided by database vault to, that uh, one can use to secure uh, further the database. The most important concept probably uh, are the realms that uh, are a functional grouping of database schemas and roles uh, that we want to secure, for example, when they are related to accounting or employees. So you can use uh, a realm to control the use of the system privileges to a specific account or role that are uh, part of this realm. So uh, we, even if we have for example, uh, select any table privilege or update any table privilege, we won't be able to access an object that is protected by a realm. Then we also have the factors that uh, are named uh, variables or attributes, such as IP addresses, user locations, or use, uh, session usernames. Uh, these uh, factors can be used to control the access to the database. Uh, this can be uh, used to provide protections against application bypass, or ad hoc uh, database access. Then we also have some other uh, concepts that uh, uh, we can use to, to further protect the database. Also, there are some uh, schemas that are in installed when we uh, apply this, this, when we install this add-on database vault product. Uh, the most important one is DVCs that contains all the database vault objects, such as the tables, views, and PLSQL packages that uh, we can use to administer and configure the database vault installation. This uh, schema, of course, is protected by a realm so that uh, administrators can't access it. The DBF schema, that is also part of Database Vault, is uh, used to, uh, for retrieve, to retrieve factor identities. It has functions to retrieve IP address, session username, etc. There are some uh, roles that are provided by Oracle Database Vault 
that uh, we can use to give the necessary ad authorization to administer or to use database vault the most important role or the, or the most full privileged role is db owner and we also have a db realm owner that is the a, an owner of a realm but db owner is the owner of all the database vault so it's the the most privileged user then we have a DV account manager that uh, is used to, for account managing, it can uh, create users or alter user passwords. Then we have DV sec analyst that uh, is a role that allows to, exec to run uh, reports of database vault. There are some uh, users that are created when we install the database vault this is uh, asked that the user is asked for the usernames and password when uh, one is, is installing database vault so actually the the usernames in a installation can be different than the ones that i use here in the presentation but uh, these names are the ones that are used uh, through the documentation so we have an account for the, the Mac account that is the account uh, responsible for the administration of database account. We must use this account to create or manage uh, users. And uh, then an, another important user is the Maxis user that is the, as I said before, is the, the, the database vault owner. So it has uh, permissions over the database vault realm that is the one that protects the DVC schema that, that contains all the, the database objects of database vault. Well, there are some uh, security considerations that are documented. Uh, here I uh, enumerate a few. Uh, this presentation is not going to focus on these uh, documented uh, considerations. There are some considerations with PSQL packages such as UTL file. One can imagine that this is because uh, this can uh, provide file system access to anyone that uh, has uh, access to these PSQL packages. Also, it is documented that there, there are some privileges that can lead to the compromise of database vault, such as the one that with that are related to shop management, the recycle bin, and the external procedures. And there are also some trusted accounts that uh, must be secured. The, the documentation said that uh, the Oracle software owner and the SysDBA users uh, are uh, accounts that must be uh, trusted. Well, now let's see uh, what are the attacks that uh, we are going, that uh, we can do to compromise the database vault. First, uh, there are the operating systems attacks, the attacks that will look for operating system access, uh, being a user connected uh, to the database. So we're going to see some examples of this. this also, we are going to see that uh, it is possible with a couple of system privileges to create and execute a procedure in the Maxis schema and uh, impersonate the Maxis user. Uh, we, we are going to see that the Sys user can bypass the database vault and we are going to see that impersonating the Sys user uh, through sequence injection we can uh, compromise uh, database fault. Also, uh, we're going uh, to, to see some vulnerabilities that are specific to database fault. Well, let's see uh, some ways to get operating system access uh, through the database. This uh, operating system access as the